Hey guys, I want to make another little video. I'm, uh, making some progress on decking here. A couple things I want to show you. Number one, on my miter joints, this is not a 45. This is actually 44 and three quarters of a degree. This is what that comes out to. And that's what gets a tight joint right there. I'm gonna exaggerate this a little bit, but hypothetically, if I do a true 45, I'm gonna end up with some gappage right there. So, little, little extra detail. More time to measure and make that cut, but it is worth it in the long run, because obviously it looks a lot cleaner. Second thing I want to show you is my picture frame. This is not... So, uh, there's a gap right there. This is not fastened yet, though. Um, when it's done, it's going to be a lot tighter. Right? So, I want to show you how I do that. I've got two pieces here. One is... So, this piece right here represents... A normal piece of decking right this piece would represent the picture frame and you can see on this cut there's a lip and you can catch it with your fingernail you're gonna catch it with your toe if you walk on it on the other side I have another piece which represents the way that I do it where it sits flat right and I want to show you that process. It also looks cleaner and tighter. And it's literally two pieces, it's two pieces of decking up against a center board. One looks loose, one looks tight, one catches your fingernail, the other one does not. Here's how I do that. So right here is where my picture frame is going, right? Uh, step number one, I add a 364 shim where that picture frame is going. So less than a 16th. And then flashing tape goes over that uh, strip of this. This is gonna go over the top of that shim just to seal it in. So that's the finished result right there. What happens, um, there's another step in this which I'll come back to, but what happens after you do that is that this piece of picture frame material now sits tight right there to where you can't catch your, your fingernail, your toe, or anything on it like that. It sits tight because um, it's sitting up just slightly less than a sixteenth of an inch. It sits above that other decking piece. Um, the other part of that equation is that the ends of my decking are beveled by about two degrees. This is the other half of this which is not beveled and that sits square. That's a square cut up against a piece of material that has a rounded edge, right? That's what you're catching your fingernail on, is a square cut up against that rounded edge. This piece has a beveled cut sitting onto that, that square piece, right? And that's what makes it so flat, right? Um, so yeah, you can see those are beveled this way. Sorry, I'm really not good at taking videos, but just like to show you guys what I do, how I build my stuff. Um, you can see that those are beveled down, right? That's what makes that piece of material 
So it makes that piece of material fit nice in there, right? To where it's comfortable to walk on, it's pleasant to look at. Um, let's come over here real quick. This side, like I said, is not uh, screwed in. It's not fastened at all. But this is ready to go. I like to build all three sides of my frame before I actually fasten anything. So I haven't screwed it in yet. But once I do fasten that, you can see this piece of material. I don't even know if I can get my phone in there. It sits up about a sixteenth, less than a sixteenth. It sits up a little bit. But it's also a rounded edge, and that's what makes it comfortable to walk on. And that is going to suck down a little bit with that flashing underneath there. It's going to suck down a little bit. Little, uh, little details like that. A lot of guys... Most guys wouldn't even do a picture frame in the first place, but if they did, they're not going to take the time to add a 364 shim underneath that picture frame just to get it to sit perfectly, not necessarily perfectly flat because it is raised up a little bit, but perfectly comfortable and aesthetically pleasing on those joints, right? So... Uh, they they did two tone. This is mahogany. This is walnut, which I think is pretty cool. It adds kind of a nice visually. You can see the difference on that border, which I think is a nice touch. Um, this piece is cut. I need to install this piece before I can install that piece. Getting there. It's a lot of work. Very time consuming. Um, obviously I am a perfectionist, so anyways, appreciate you watching. Have a good day. Bye.